what happened to Stanley Meyer. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. As of 2012, there were more than 1 billion cars on the planet and they're in virtually every country on Earth. The vast majority of these vehicles are powered by fossil fuels and, at some point, the fuel will run out. For decades, scientists have searched for a new way to power motor vehicles. While entrepreneurs like Elon Musk have made significant progress with electric cars, there's still nothing that can fully replace fossil fuel. Or is there? Here's where it gets crazy. You may not have heard of Stanley Meyer, but his advocates believe he was poised to revolutionize the auto industry and solve the gas crisis. Meyer claimed he'd figured out how to power cars using water. This water fuel cell, of which Meyer patented several components, supposedly used an electrical resonance to split water into hydrogen and oxygen, burning the hydrogen to create energy. On an Ohio TV station, Meyer exhibited a water-powered dune buggy. The inventor stated that this vehicle would need only 22 gallons of water to travel from Los Angeles to New York. Some experts, such as Philip Ball, took issue with many of Meyer's claims. First, Meyer's fuel cell, if it worked, would use a much smaller amount of energy than believed possible, even violating the laws of thermodynamics. Second, if this technology works, then where is it? Oddly enough, Meyer isn't the only person claiming to have invented a water-powered car. In the 1930s, a man named C. H. Garrett claimed to invent an electrolytic carburetor, and claims of water-powered vehicles still crop up today. Inventors in Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Japan, and more have gone public with similar inventions. To date, most of these inventors have either been sued or closed down their companies. To the skeptic, this proves a simple premise you can't break the laws of thermodynamics. But there's another wrinkle to the story of Stan Meyer. According to the Columbus Dispatch, Meyer died on March 20th, 1998, claiming he had been poisoned by two Belgian investors. The coroner traced the cause of death to an aneurysm. To most, Stan Meyer is either unknown, a con man, or simply deluded, and his death, while unfortunate, is not evidence of anything concerning his invention. To his supporters, however, it shows that Stan Meyer caught on to something else, something the oil industry doesn't want you to know. In the top of our news here at 6 o'clock, an age-old dream becoming a reality. A local inventor has discovered a way, hear this, to use water to run your car. It's a major breakthrough that will no doubt make motorists happy. And as Ralph Robinson explains, the Pentagon is also showing lots of interest in this project. 